What's up guys and welcome back to Software and Other Solutions and today I'm going to show you an FPS boost guide for Season 2. Yes ladies and gentlemen, as you can see my FPS is being shown in the game right now at the top. Now as you can see I'm in the settings, I'm not actually playing the game. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into the game itself and show you the FPS in the game while you are playing the game. So stay tuned, watch the whole video to the end because I actually get reported and a guy tunes me straight that I'm going to get reported. He probably reported me 50 times during this video of recording. But a lot of people are saying direct ray tracing helps. It doesn't. Don't listen to that people. It's a bunch of nonsense. All right, let's jump straight into this. All right, so this is the settings that I've been using to get better FPS inside my game and it works 100%. Okay, it's, this is what you're going to need to do. At the analyzing, you're going to turn this off and put... NVIDIA DLSS on quality and press escape and check this out. 166, hit about 167 there around with these settings. Trust me, this works. But let's talk about this. All right, so Battle.net itself. First thing you're going to need to do is go to Battle.net itself and then just right click on the application itself and go to properties. You are going to go to compatibility mode over here. So it's right over there. Go to disable full screen optimization and then run this program in administrator and then say apply. Go to this one over here and tick this box and say when I sign into Windows and tick this box and say application and say OK. Now we're going to change settings for all users and do the exact same thing. Apply both of these, say apply, change settings and change it to the exact same settings as the previous one. Put it on application, say OK, say apply, say OK, say apply, say OK. All right, so the next step you're going to need to do is go into your graphic settings like this. Just type in graphic settings and go to your graphic settings like this. You're going to add Call of Duty inside here. It's very easy to do. Click on the Browse button. Go to where Call of Duty Warzone is installed. Mine's called Call of Duty Warzone. I renamed it myself. Yours might just be called Warzone. Go to the EXE file, which is the largest file right here, as you can see, like this. And you're going to click Add. Now, I already added this. So you click on it over here, and it's going to show the EXE file like that. And you're going to click on options and high performance and let it select your graphics card. This is what you're going to need to do and then close out of this. The next step you're going to need to do is actually go to Battle.net itself and open it up. I'm just going to open up my Battle.net. I'm just going to sign in or log into my account. And I'm going to open up Battle.net itself. Now this is what you're going to need to do inside this. You click here, this menu, the drop down menu, click on settings. And you're going to go to this one over here, on game launch. Now you get a few options here. I put mine on Exit Battle.net completely so it doesn't run in the background while I'm playing my game. So it doesn't use resources like my RAM and my CPU. Trust me, this helps a lot. Untick this box, it will help you. Trust me, untick that box. All right, so now you're going to go to the Options gear icon, go to Show in Explorer, go to your Call of Duty Warzone, scroll all the way down, find the EXE file, and you're going to right click on it, click Properties, and go to Compatibility Mode, and tick these boxes as well. You're going to do the exact same thing. Say Apply, tick these boxes as well. When I sign into Windows, tick this box, Application, say OK, say Apply, say OK. Click these boxes as well, all of these, Apply, Settings, make sure all of these things are exactly the same for everything. So like you just did previously, you're going to do it for Call of Duty Warzone's EXE as well. Click OK, and you're going to go out of this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to jump straight into Warzone. And let me actually show you the FPS that I do inside the game itself. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important step. The installing shaders to optimize performance during gameplay. Let this finish. Do not click play if it did show finish. If it doesn't show finish, click on play when it finishes and it says installation complete. All right. Now we're going to jump straight into the game. All right, I'm in the lobby. So being in the lobby doesn't prove anything. It doesn't prove the FPS inside the game. People want to see what FPS do you do inside the game. Put this on full screen. Put this on your monitor. Put this on your graphics card. This as your refresh rate of your monitor. Put this on 100. Don't drop this down. You're actually going to make your game look worse. And you don't want that for your game. So keep it on 100. This one, you are going to enable... You can enable this if you want to cap your FPS depending on the refresh rate of your monitor. So let's say it's 60, you put it on 60. Let's say it's 120, you're going to put it on 120. Let's say it's a 144 hertz monitor, you put it on 144. Let's say it's a 244, 240 hertz monitor, click on 240. All right, that's if you want to apply that. I put mine off, so I uncap my FPS. This one, aspect ratio, plays a big role on the monitor you're running. A lot of people play on gaming monitors, so I don't use this. I keep mine on automatic. This one over here, V-Sync, is for screen tearing. That is what it does. 
it's just there for screen tearing and also if you want to cap your fps but it's mainly used for screen tearing it actually shows you a preview this one over here you're going to keep on unlimited i highly recommend changing this from its default settings to 60 so you can actually see the wz like that because it's going to help you in the game put this on 2.2 disable this and disable this we're going to go to a quality and then fov field of view plays a very big role in the game as your personal preference but it does nothing with fps i'm actually going to prove it to you once i jump into the game and show you the fps i use and get inside the game with the settings that i use all right so a lot of people play at default and a lot of people play at the max settings like this i prefer 120 so i can see better and further than my eyelids this is why I put it on 120. This one, you're going to put on affected and you're going to keep it like that. Do not put it on independent. It's not. Con it's going to make it worse. It's basically going to put your FOV or your field of view while you're aiming down sight back to its default settings. So put this on affected and leave this like this. Collapse this. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not change this setting. Put it on least. Don't put it on default or don't leave it on default. All right. Streaming quality, low. This, you put on normal. You're going to keep it on normal because the game looks good on normal or you can put it on high all right this one low it doesn't do that much with fps inside the game and i'm going to prove it to you guys once i jump into the game itself all right so i put mine on normal put this on low just leave it on low and keep it on low it doesn't do much in the game with fps you want that better fps so leave this on low this one over here bullet impacts and sprays you can enable this if you want to see some bullet impacts and sprays and stuff like that it literally says what it does so you can enable it or disable it all right this one over here tessellation plays a big role in the game as well it actually increases and decreases fps so i disable this completely all right this one over here is a cool effect to watch people's arms and heads and shit and all that nonsense fly off so i enable that this one over here you're going to disable this one okay restarting shader installation this you're going to click only if your shaders have crashed or got stuck or whatever the case might be then you click on restart shader installation this one over here plays a very big role with anti-analyzing okay so i'm going to just show you guys this okay so when i disable nvidia dlss and put this on the highest it can go to then you're going to put that on 0.00 this low this enabled this enabled and then this low directs ray tracing do not enable this you're going to lose fps and i'm going to show it to you guys and prove it to you guys in the game itself it doesn't help you at all disable ray tracing even if you have a ray tracing card ambient occlusion disable screen space reflections disable this you want it disabled all right apply these settings okay so now, as you can see, this is the FPS I do with that settings that I just selected now. This is the FPS that I'm doing in the lobby. So now I'm going to change these things and I'm going to show you what FPS I do when I change this. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable this one. First, you're going to put this off like this and put this all the way up to quality and put your film strength all the way up. And then what you're going to need to do inside here, you're just going to enable these two things disable everything else and apply and i'm going to close out of this and watch my fps as you can see i'm doing 165 166 there we go all right let's jump into the game right ladies and gentlemen this is the settings that i'm doing right now as you can see i'm doing over my vram and these are the settings i'm using as you can see just look at the settings that i'm using right now and this is the fps i'm doing inside the game all right so that's the settings i'm using and that's what FPS I'm doing, right? So I'm doing about 109, 106, 107, 110. It always fluctuates. That's Call of Duty Warzone for you. That's about it. The game is like Enemy this. Unfortunately, nearby. it is like this. It's just a thing, all right? But if you want the best FPS, this is what you're going to need to do. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm doing 136. So this is the settings you're going to be using to get the best FPS out of your game. So this is your display settings. And this is what minus display settings are on. Then your quality. All right, so you're going to keep this unaffected, like I said before, keep it like that. All right, these are the settings that I'm using to get really good FPS in my game. NVIDIA DLSS is on quality, and then everything else is disabled, and this is how it looks. I'm doing 136 FPS, as you can see, 130, 140, that's the FPS that I'm doing, and it helps me a lot inside the game, as you can see, it looks 
beautiful, the game looks fine, there's nothing wrong with the game, there's no blur. This is the FOV, I'm just going to show you and prove to you that it doesn't affect FPS at all inside this game. Not anymore, it doesn't affect FPS. But if you want to see further than your eyelids, then I highly recommend putting this on 120 and then leave it like this. As you can see, there's no recoil there, that's just me putting down my mouse, alright? Okay, so I'm shooting. Just shooting with my sniper over here, just shooting to prove to you guys the FPS that I'm doing with that specific settings. Alright ladies and gentlemen, better FPS equals better gameplay. Watch. Let's see. Oh, let's go. Okay, so here's basically where I got reported so many times. Yeah, well, that's the airport was. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new year, and as always, peace out.